Hey guys, today we're talking about the rarest Rachidactylus gecko, the greater rough-snouted gecko. The greater rough-snouted gecko, Rachidactylus trachy, is the second largest Rachidactylus. It is also the largest live-bearing gecko in the entire world, and it is also the rarest Rachidactylus in captivity. There are only a few specimens in either US, Canadian, and European collections, and luckily Northern Gecko was one of them that currently has a pair of greater rough-sounded geckos and allowed me to film them. Greater Rough Snouted Gecko reaches snout to vent length of 7.5 inches and a total length of about 12 inches. This is a long living species and it's said that they will live over 30 years. Particularly there was a wild collected animal that was already old in age, you could tell just by looking at it. And it was collected in 1992 and it was still active and breeding in 2003. An interesting fact about greater rough snouted geckos is that they are live bearing and they will only have two babies per year which is what attributes their rarity in the hobby and what also attributes their very high price tag. This species is sexually dimorphic. Males have a dark brown to grayish brown background coloration with large contrasting whitish spots. Females are yellowish brown with smaller, less contrasting yellowish spots. Males have a pronounced hemipenile bulge. Females initially demonstrate some parental behaviors. They will actually take care of their geckos for up to a month and you shouldn't keep the babies in with their parents longer than that. Uh, and the only way to keep them together is if you provide them with small hollows so that they could run and hide if anything was to happen. Babies take approximately three years to get to sexual maturity. And there you have it. Some information on greater rough snouted geckos. Thanks to Northern Gecko for giving me the opportunity to record these beautiful specimens. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop a like down below and comment if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks.